morning, we are just waiting for others to join us. We are waiting for others to join us. As we wait for others, I just want you to be worshipping. Just be worshipping, lift him higher, magnify his holy name. He is worthy all the praise, he is worthy all the glory, he is worthy all the honor. The wonderful counselor, the great I am. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Nisi. Just be worshipping, worshipping, praise him, lift him higher. When the praises go up, his glory comes down. Just be worshipping, be worshipping, be worshipping, just be worshipping, just be worshipping, just be worshipping, just be worshipping, worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him, he is all the glory and the praise, he is worthy all the honor. He is the Alpha and Omega. He knows the beginning to the end. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the Great I Am. He is the Prince of Peace. He is, he is the truth and the life. He is the way. He is the light. Just worship Him. Just worship Him. The Lion of the tribe of Judah. Lift him higher, lift him higher. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Um, Tuku Kondinya, Neto Pikedu. Tuku Kondinya, Neto Pikedu. About the accused thing or the accused person. The accused thing or the accused person. Today we are taking our story, our scripture from Genesis. Today we are taking our story from Genesis. Mm. A lot has been happening during the day. So many battles. Um, Dandisina Shakari data to do this live stream. I guess the prayers today are going to be very powerful and a lot of people are going to be delivered. Uh, a lot of people are going to be delivered. So uh, we are taking our scripture today from the book of Genesis. We are taking our scripture today from the book of Genesis. We are taking our scripture today from the book of Genesis. So I'm going to read. I'm going to read. Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12. It's the story about Lot. It's the story about Lot. I know Kutin. Van uh, Wakawanta, we know this story. We know this story. We know the story. So I'm going to read from Genesis. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope you ladies can hear me. Genesis chapter 12. I'm going to read from verse 1 to verse 4. I'm going to read from verse 1 to verse 4. Um, now the Lord had said to Abraham, Now the Lord had said to Abraham, Get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and I will kiss him who kisses you. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. I want you to take note of verse 1. Verse 1, get out of your country and from your family. That was the instruction. Get out of your country from your family and from your father's house. Verse 4. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken to him. And and Lord went with him. The instruction in verse 1 was get out from your country and from your family. But Abraham is taking along with him Lot. Lot is part of the family. Yanzi na Mari, you should leave your family behind. But Abraham is taking along with him Lot. He's taking along with him Lot. Today we are going to be talking about the consequences of caring along with you and a cursed person. We are going to be talking about the consequences of caring along with you and a cursed person. So Abraham is taking Lot. We want to see what happens. What happens 
Uh, Genesis chapter 13. Genesis chapter 13, verse 7 to 11. Verse 7 to 11. And there was strife between the heads, between the headsmen of Abraham's livestock and the headsmen of Lot's livestock. The Canaanites and the Perizzites then dwelt in the land. So Abraham said to Lot, Please let there be no strife between you and me, and between my headsmen and your headsmen, for we are brethren. Is not the whole land before you. Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I will go to the right. Or if you go to the right, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere, before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt as you go towards Zohar. Then Lot chose for himself all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east. Imagine kuti Abraham atora loti wanga mbonzi na mari asie. Then along the way there is now strife between the headmen of Lot and the headsmen of Abraham. There is now strife, and now Abraham is saying, I don't want this strife that is between our headsmen. I don't want the I don't want strife between you and me since we are brethren. Now iwe chichuza kwa urikuda. Imagine kuti wawata kura. Wawata kura wambonzi usie. Wakumu chichuza kwa uri kuda. And Lot is choosing the fertile. Lot is now choosing the fertile land. Lot is now choosing the good land that was there. But he is not part, he is not part of the promise. He is not part of the, of, of the blessing that God had for Abraham. But as long as Lot was with Abraham, God remained silent. God did not release any of the promises that he had promised to Abraham. But the Bible now says, um, I'm going to read. So Abraham said, Abraham said to Lot, please let there be no strife. And Lot lifted his eyes. And the Lord said to Abraham, that is verse 14. And the Lord said to Abraham, after um, after Lot had separated from him, um, lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward, for all the land which you see I give to you and uh, to your descendants forever, and I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also could be numbered. Arise, walk in the land through its length and its width, for I give it to you. As long as Abraham was with Lot, as long as Abraham with, was with Lot, God remained silent. God did not um reveal to abraham the promise that he had for him god did not release the package that he had for abraham as long as lot was with him we don't know the reason why god had said to abraham you should move from your family maybe lot abraham's family had a lot of accursed people had a lot of accursed people and maybe lot was one of those people and god was saying leave these accursed people and i want to i am promising you that I'm going to bless you. But Abraham is carrying with him the very same people that God had instructed him to live. We have got people here who are carrying with them the lots in their life. And as long as that lot is around and as long as you are carrying that lot along with you, God is not going to say anything. God is going to remain silent. Some of you, you may be wondering right now, why is God silent in my life? Why is God not saying anything in my life? Doesn't God have promises? You read about the promises of God in the Bible and you ask yourself, why are these promises not manifesting in my life? God said all those promises, but are they not accused people whom we are carrying along with? Auna Revan Vari accused the Wakata Kura. Auna Revan Vari accused the Warukita, um, Warukita move along with. As long as you are with those people, we are not going to walk in God's promises. We are not going to walk in God's favor. We are not going to walk in the. 
plans of God. We know that Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God says, I have got plans for you to give you a future and a hope. But those plans cannot manifest in your life as long as there is a lot who is going along with you. As, they, as long as there is a lot who is around you, God remained silent until Abraham separated with Lot. But we want to see the consequences. We want to see the consequences. Um, what happened after, even after Abraham had separated with Lot, you are going to realize that there are some unnecessary battles that Abraham had to fight because he had carried along with him this Lot. Even the separator, Abraham had to, to fight some unnecessary battles to defend this Lot. I'm going to read, I'm going to read from uh, Genesis chapter 13. From Genesis chapter 14, Genesis chapter 14, verse 12. Genesis chapter 14, verse 12. Then they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their provisions and went their way. They also took Lot. They also took Lot, Abraham's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom and his goods and departed. Then one who had escaped came and told Abraham the Hebrew. For he dwelt by the terebinth tree of Mamre, the Amorite brother of Esco and brother of Anna, and they were allies with Abraham. Now when Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his 318 trained servants who were born in his own house and went in pursuit as far as Dan. He divided his forces against them by night, and he and his servants attacked them and pursued them as as far as robber, which is not of Damascus. So he brought back all the goods and also brought back his brother Lot and his goods as well as the women and the people. This was an unnecessary battle. If Abraham had listened and took heed of God's instruction in the first place, he was not going to fight this battle. He had to fight this battle in order to, 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 to get back his this Lord whom he had carried along with, he had to fight this battle to defend his cousin whom he had brought along with him. So you find that there are people here who are fighting unnecessary battles. There are people here who are fighting unnecessary fights. Why? Because there is a lot whom you are carrying along with you. Why? Because kuna lot wa wakata kura. Kuna manu wa urku wira neku defender. Wa wanga de usiruku defender neku wira. De usina kuwata kura pa mafuzi. There are so many people very surrounded ne manu wakaita sana lot. Manu wanoku unzira wanto zisiri necessary. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. But we, we, we are going to, to see the, the, the real... Uh, the actual consequences. Um, we are going to see the actual consequences as we as we read on Genesis chapter nineteen. Genesis chapter nineteen, verse thirty to thirty-eight. Genesis chapter nineteen, verse thirty to thirty-eight. Genesis chapter nineteen, verse thirty to thirty-eight. Then Lot went up out of Zor and dwelt in the mountains. This is, okay, pakata papane shakato mboitika. Pakata papaka mboyawa tuma kumba kwa Abraham. Wakamujot, we are going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Because mwari wakata antinga ite chinu iti ndisna kuza Abraham. And watuma wamujot, we are going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham wakafungot, ku Sodom and Gomorrah wakundu wakuna Lot, uya wanzaka takura kufanae kumusha. I'm supposed to intercede. So there are some intercessory prayers that we are going to make for the Lord that you are carrying around with you for the lot that you are bringing along with you into a promise that is not his Abraham had to intercede for lot akachanga kukukuku negotiate na mwari kuti mwari kukana mkawana mune vanu wakati mchapara za ere so domend gomora mwari mkawana mune vanu wakati mchapara za ere so domend gomora the reason being he wanted to defend lot he wanted to defend Lot. Why can't Bonzi Namari Musi? 
So now, after the destruction, after the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, this is now where I'm reading. Then Lot went up out of Zor and dwelt in the mountains, and his two daughters were with him, for he was afraid to dwell in Zor. And he and his two daughters dwelt in a cave. Now the firstborn said to the younger, Our father is old. And there is no man on earth to come in to us, as is the custom of all the earth. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may preserve the lineage of our father. So they made their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in and lay with her father, and he did not know when she lay down or when she arose. It happened on the next day that the firstborn said to the young, Indeed, I lay with my father last night. Let us make him drink wine tonight also. And you go in and lie with him that he may preserve the lineage of our father. Then they made their father drink wine that night also. And the younger arose and lay with him. And he did not know when she lay down or when she arose. Thus both the daughters of Lot were with child by their father. The firstborn bore a son and called his name Moab, I want you to take note of this, and bore a son and called his name Moab. He is the father of the Moabites to this day. So, the product of the first daughter with Lot, the, the product of Lot and his first daughter, he bore a son and called him Moab, and this Moab is the father of all the Moabites. Right, and the younger she also bore a son and called his name Ben Ami. He is the father of the people of Ammon to this day. Meaning, this 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 Ammon is the father of all the Ammonites right now. So we want to see. We now want to see what these Moabites and what these Ammonites did to the children of Israel later on. Mwarimambo uza Abraham, kuti Abraham iva mwenyika yako, siya hama zako, uyente kunyika ya ndri kudaku kuratiza, and I'm going to bless you there. But Abraham ovaita naro, he, he, he carries along with him this lot, lot, Achibudis wam Sodom and Gomorrah. Ano buda ne two daughters, maiva jokera waka pindu kakuita churuche munyu, Vanaska na valot avana avana kuror wa they are virgins avana bovera varor wa avana varume apana kana one pakati pawa ne numbu then vashi kava one jamu kev vanaska no vatinga chini wise baba doro kana tava nui sava kaja kwa chora ranavo kana chora ranavo choi tava na so that we maintain our father's lineage so vashan tuwe kutanga mana do vashara mana akamuti ndiye moab moab uyundiye baba we ma moab it's ese wechi Tundo vasha rama na akatindie amon. Amon uyu ndie baba vema amonites ese. Now we want to see what these Moabites and what these Ammonites are going to do to the Israelites. The Israelites ndio seed ya Abraham. We want to see what the seed of Lot is going to do to the seed of Abraham. Ameno kanamuru kuntibata, ameno kanamuru kuntibata panesha nruku taura. We want to see what the seed of Lot is going to do to the seed of Abraham. But ipapa apa pane nyaya ya kuti Abraham watakura Lot wawea nae. But kumutakura kwa waita watakura muno acha produce avana vane pfungwa zekura rana baba vavo. Watakura muno acha produce avana vane pfungwa zekuita incest. Kunwisa baba doro vo jakwa vago rara na baba vavo. Already you can see what kind of seed is going to come from such a mindset. What kind of a seed is going to come from such a mindset? Yes, Abraham, lot wako unomuda. But now look at what is happening. Warampa kusia lot wush. Wawans will see an amari, but Tarisa shall quit at the seed of the Lord that you brought. Vanaska na vanepfungu wa zekunu nisa baba waini. Ini mfunzo wangu wa vati waini. Vanka vampo iwa na kupi. Zora wakuti vanava vai tova o shidakwa. Gati wanu isa waini. Kana tava wanu isa waini to vatarara navo. You are virgins but muno zoti. Chino kona kurara ne munu. Paka budamana. 
Machine si va say when you are when you are still virgins. When a man to yes sit in a Buddha, Pama Nuba Kunzi na Marisiana Navo. Marivar Kushi Siva kuti Munzi no Buddha Pama Nuba no Garanava Abraham. I see Munzia Kanaka. But Abraham a great and narrow the good and dig one you come a lot is my cousin a men upon the Wanga Vajar of the same age. A cat and paradzaninae. Do you see now you keep on holding on to some people who are going to be trouble and problems in your future? Manto yes sit in Kubuda Pana Lot in Ochkisa. Mana ano funga fungwa ze kwita chip chipfampi na bababa keva kamuzara. Mana no ita fungwa ze kufeke nura bababa keva kamuzara. Chikwanze ro icho chon do changa chat chaiti sama kutivati Abraham siya siya amadza kwa zese uyenta kulenti and tisha kupromisa. Meaning Abraham was was a distinctive man. He was unique, he was outstanding among all of them. Mwari wanga wasina chivi chavanga vaona maari kuzo shika wamti chimbo siya vana ava. Mwari wanga watu wana manjo yevanu ava. Kuti anti kwa nekuro pafadza Abraham alipakati pe vanu wakadai. We have got people here who are holding on to, to people who are like Lot. But the seed which are produced whenever never, seed which are produced whenever never, it's going to disappoint you. Right? We said the first daughter gave birth to the to Moab. Who is the father of the Moabites? We want to see what the Moabites did to the Israelites. The Israelites who are a seed of Abraham. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 9. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 9. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 9. Ticha nko browser, ticha nko wano ti mamo abaita ya. Aka zombo itasei. This is Deuteronomy ijeni. Yeba nawe Israel vachi vaku Egypt. Deuteronomy ijeni. Yeba nawe Israel vachi vaku Egypt. Inoro ondo. Ye jeni acho. So ndrukuti. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 9. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 9. We want to see what this what what this Moabites did to Israel, and when he passed beyond our brethren, the descendants of Israel would dwell in say away from the road of the plain, away from Elad and Ezion Geba. We turned and passed by way of the wilderness of Moab. Then the Lord said to me, "Do not harass Moab, nor contend with them in battle, for I will not give you any of their land as a possession, because I have given her to the descendants of Lot as a possession." Already, Abraham, I am, I can a lot to his promised land, and because of that, Lot now has a portion in Abraham's promised land. Lot already has a portion now in Abraham's promised land. It was supposed to be Abraham's it was supposed to be a land that was supposed to belong to the seed of Abraham, not to the seed of Lot. But whenever Israel, we are told we are married. We are not about to be Moabites. We are going to be Moabites in our land because they are a seed of Lot. Do you see now? We 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 are being disadvantaged in our families. We are not going to be Lot. We are going to join in our promises as Siri Avo. Israel, Yakuto, 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 it was. What can I say? Land your wife and Rakua na yese Yaku divide wa, so that Moab can also find a portion, so that the seed of Lot can also find a portion. That is the Deuteronomy. Now we want to go to Judges, Judges chapter three, verse twenty-eight. Judges chapter three, verse twenty-eight. Judges chapter 3, verse 28. Judges chapter 3, verse 28. 
Judges chapter 3, verse 28. Then he said to them, Follow me, for the Lord has delivered your enemies. This, 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 this message is being spoken or being delivered to the children of Israel, to the Israelites. Okay, let's start from verse 26. But Ehud had escaped while they delayed and passed beyond the stone images and escaped to Sarah. And it happened when he arrived that he blew the trumpet in the mountains of Ephraim. And the children of Israel went down with him from the mountains and he led them. Then he said to them, follow me, for the Lord has delivered your enemies, the Moabites, into your hand. This now means the Moabites were now an enemy to the Israelites. The Moabites were now an enemy to the Israelites. They were now fighting against the seed of Abraham. The seed of Abra the seed of Lot is now fighting against the seed of Abraham. Meaning, even the step here, Abraham, Pekutanga, could let us separate so that we can avoid strife between, uh, between us as we are brethren. It wasn't a solution. It was not a solution enough because right now the Israelites are supposed to fight against the Moabites. The Moabites are now an enemy to the Israelites. The seed of Lot is now an enemy to the seed of Abraham. In the first place, Maria Chiti Abraham, see our name. Why to Jesus, what Abraham akatakura any one of these people? He is going to face trouble. He is going to face problems in the land that I'm going to give him. There is going to be strife. These people are going to fight against him. These people are going to rise and be his enemies. And now Israel is is now fighting uh, is now fighting the Moabites. The Moabites are now rising as an enemy to the seed of Abraham. Zorewa kuti solution ya kaitwa pekutanga na baba vanonzi Abraham na baba vanonzi Lot. It didn't work. So the against the thing that you are carrying right now, it will come back to haunt your children's future. The accursed thing that your father carried along with him or that your grandfather carried along with him is now coming back to haunt you as the grandchildren. Jina chimbofunga. Kuti matitate guru ako vana na loti vangani vavakatakura. Iwewe pauri unana loti vangani vavakatakura. Bekuti in the future, they are going to be the Moabites who will rise and fight against your own seed. They were more bites and achieve this land Javar It was it was supposed to be uh, to be Abraham's land. It was supposed to be a possession for the seed of Abraham. Banga de Vaito Kumpira. Banga de Vaito Kumpira ne kunyangerera seed ya Abraham. But because Varku fila kuti we have a right to this land, they are now fighting against Abraham. Zimwe wonto zata kurwa right now sevana. Tinga de tisiru kuzirwa, but itiru kuzirwa ne kuti vakayenta kudara. Vane ma akes the personalities, ne ma akes the things that they carried with them. Tina na se kuru Abraham vakati lot andi musi. Lot owe ya oshara mo abite mo abite watanga kuti ruisa. Sinana sekuru Abraham wakati inini jemu zimu ne mashava andisie. Madmu zimu yu ne mashavi shaku ya jishunguru za isusu. Right now iwewa une machira ye nchuzu, machira ye mashavi, machira ye mzimu wa wakatakura. Ask us how hunta iwewe chete. They are going to come and hunt your children in the future. 
So my question to you today is Jinka and Jawaka Takura right now. Zichao Yakuswa and Tava Navako in the future. And the Jinka and Jaka Takura Kudzara. Never Nana Sekuru Vako, Nana Gogovako, Nana Babako, Nana Maivako. Zuku ya Shuku Aunta right now. How many of their accursed things are now haunting you? Israel, I don't believe. Kuti Abraham a chinza bude muni kaya ke anga zinga si evana lota. Israel, I don't believe. What mama abides a ya kuti wisa i project ya kusa terera kwakaita sekuru Abraham. I don't believe. I believe Israel. Just like you are right now. I was going to believe. I'm going to check out the sakuru wachi. I was going to impossible. I'm going to check out the sakuru garamumbachi. I was going to impossible. I'm going to check out the sakuru sumukachi. Hakuna ere Abraham akarampa akabati rira kuna lot. Hakuna ere Abraham akarampa akabati rira kumi zimune mashavi. Hakuna ere Abraham akarampa kutere ra kachaza kutfollowa instruction yamari. Ente vajin chwe du panap. We cannot say akuna panap. Ne kuti vajin chwe du anase kuru chwe du vakafa vasinga na mati. Anase kuru chwe du vakafa vari vekure zangoma. Vari veku sungiri na magagada vachi tamba bira. Vachi 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 pempe zami zimu. Vachi bika madoro ema bira vachi ura ya mope zichi zgo zisina muni. Saka you can't tell me kuti that akuna Abraham akanga akacha kura lot. Right now, I'm a venue. Chimpo, nema chira emi zimu iwa la kasi iwa nana sekuru. Ari mumba mababa wako, njoo makasi iwa jinish. Baka nzi njiwa waku piwa chimpo ya baba. Njiwa waku si iwa micheka ya sekuru. And urukusha ya kuti sayi jaka dai muupenyo wangu. Sayi jisiri kuita. Sayi mamo abaita chinti uisa. Sayi njiri kuruwa wondo ze sayi zi. But you go on a repanania. Panania and the putting the pepper to Panama Abraham at of Akudara. Panguma Yakur whisper Israel in a more bite. Abraham, I ain't a carry. Jero Jacob, what I ain't a carry. Jero Isaac, what I ain't a carry. Avamato River Zukuru over Sanka Tombo Zive. Kutikwanga Kumporina Abraham. But Mama bites a repo. Mama bites a good whisper the seed of Abraham. Mufunzo wangu oti, vanka aniva na loti wakatakuru wane mazitate guru. Vanka aniva na loti wakatakuru wana baba wako, varuku kuru wisa right now in your life. Vanka ani? Second Kings chapter 11. Second Kings chapter 11. Second Kings chapter 11. Second Kings chapter eleven verse thirty three. Second Kings chapter eleven verse thirty three. Second Kings chapter eleven verse thirty three. All right, let's start from verse. Let's start from verse thirty one. Let's start from verse thirty one. From verse 31. And he said to Jeroboam, Take for yourself ten pieces, for thus says the Lord, the God of Israel. Behold, I will tear the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon and will give ten tribes to you. But he shall have one tribe for the sake of my servant David and for the sake of Jerusalem, the city which I have chosen out of the tribes of Israel, because they have forsaken me and worshipped Ash Ashtoreth. The goddess of Sidonians, Chemosh, the god of the Moabites, Chemosh, the god of the Moabites, and Milcom, the god of the people of Ammon, and have not walked in my ways to do what is right in my eyes and keep my statutes and my judgments as did his father. Now, Mariva Kuti. My servant David 
And for the sake of Jerusalem, the seat which I have chosen out of the tribes of Israel, because they have forsaken me, the children of Israel have forsaken the Lord, and they are worshipping Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Sidonians, Chemosh, the god of the Moabites, meaning, my Moabites, Avatona Matimari, my Moabites, Avasvan Vanona Matamari, Van Vanichimari Chavo, Chava Kuna Mata, and Chimari Chava Chava Kuna Matej, Dochimari Chaku Tente Ukwa never never Israel, Vaku Sia Mari, Akava Visa Ku Egypt, Vaku Tanga Kuna Matamari, one more bite. Vanave Israel, Vaku Sia Mari, Vaku Sia Mari, Akava Visa Ku Egypt, Vachinona Matamari, one more. Which is the reason why Marivanga vati Abraham gave kunyikaya na baba vake? Because Mariva is ziva kuti vanu veka udia. Macha udien ziva vanu na matajitori. Abraham tuku kuvisa kunyikai because I don't want you to worship idols. But Abraham arko batiri la kuna lot. See, the ku produce kuna lot. It's worshiping idols, and because they are worshiping idols, whenever the seed of Abraham is also turning to worship idols. Banka ni vanu vatenge utwa right now. Neku da kwe vanu vasiru kuna matamari watu kuna matau. Banka ni. Mwa baita ina mate mari. Mwa baita ino na mata chitori. They are, idolat- they, they are idolaters. Wan, wano na mata chitori. But you see, dear Lot. Lot atakuru wana Abraham achivanae kuchaudia. Wambo si mfunza kuti. Sei kune wano. Warukuna mata mizimu. Say kwe ne van var kuna matananga. Say kwe ne van var kuna mata mashavi. Say kwe ne van var kuna mata ne ku pempe zama shavi enjuzu. Ndiwa vana vama abaita. Ende mat Christians akawanta vaku si amari vachenda kunona mata zuni zozo. Mat Christians manka ni ayetu kwa chibudam church vachenda kunota gananga. My Christians, mankani, we have forsaken God right now to go and worship idols. How many Christians have forsaken God to worship idols? How many Christians have forsaken God to go and worship witches and wizards? How many Christians have forsaken God to go and worship Sangomas? How many? How many? Children of Moab, the seed of Lot, Tashungurus, when you could have seed, your Lot. We are suffering because of the seed of Lord, the seed that worships idols. What kind of a seed is going to be produced? Let me sleep with my father and have a baby and have a child for him. You see the kind of seed that they produced? The kind of seed that worships idols? The kind of God... Or the kind of seed that doesn't know that there is a God who should be worshipped. The kind of God that, that molds images and idols to worship. Chingote Abraham wakati parira. They are lot in joy at Shunguruza, even in this current day. Tarwis one is a dialot. Mumma marriage is shame or is a dialot in Ruti Shunguruza. The strange woman is the seed of Lot. I know what she pama idols. I know what she panjuzu. I know what she pama sangomas. She is the seed of Lot. Second Kings, Second Kings chapter three, verse eighteen. Second Kings chapter three, verse eighteen. Second Kings chapter three, verse eighteen. Let's start from. Let's start from.
from verse 16. And he said, Thus says the Lord, make this valley full of ditches. For thus says the Lord, you shall not see wind, nor shall you see rain. Yet that valley shall be filled with water, so that you, your cattle, and your animals may drink. And this is a simple matter in the sight of the Lord. He will also deliver the Moabites into your hands. Also, you shall attack every fortified city and every choice city and shall cut down every good tree and stop up every spring of water and ruin every good piece of land with stones. You, you see, many battles, many battles that the, the, the seed of Abraham is fighting or many battles that were fought by the children of israel they were fighting those battles against the moabites and the ammonites and the moabites and the ammonites are the seed of lot how many battles are we fighting right now because of the moabites and the ammonites how many battles are we fighting kumabasa chaiko chaiko iriko sidiayot See, dear Lord, you know, you know, you know, believe Akuti. For me to stay in at the, in this position, Pabasa, do not find Roku consult a sangoma. For me, could in the rapid position, do not find Roku at a cover when a mission of Pabasa. Iriko, see, dear Lord, Kumabasa, what you know, Shanda. Kuma business premises, Iriko, see, dear Lord. You know, believe I could in business, Rangu Rita, Jinofan Rokutanga and the Poronga Neku Kangani Sama business, Evamo Vese, Vacanti Comberez. All the battles or many battles that we are fighting right now, they are a result of the seed of Lot. The Moabites and the Ammonites, they are attacking us. They are fighting against us left, right, and center. Why? Because Abraham carried with him an accursed thing. Our theme this week is praying against the accursed thing. Who are those Moabites and who are those Ammonites in your life? Who are those Moabites and who are those Ammonites in your life? They are an accursed person. It was a lot. Ammonite is a Moabite. Ezra, Ezra chapter 9, Ezra chapter 9, Ezra chapter 9, Ezra, Ezra chapter 9 verse 1, Ezra chapter 9 verse 1. When these things were done, the leaders came to me saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands with respect to the abominations of the Canaanites. With respect to the abominations of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, and the Moabites. The children of Israel are now supposed to separate themselves. They Abraham anga asina kutakura loti. Vanave Israel vanga vasina vasina task yekuji separata because they were going to be dwell, dwelling amongst themselves. But because Abraham anga takura loti, now they have to separate themselves. There are so many verses that, 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 that speak about the Ammonites and the Moabites fighting and attacking the seed of Abraham. But I just wanted to let you see, I just wanted you to see that carrying an accursed thing with you, it, doesn't, it cannot haunt you. It may not haunt you, but certainly it will come to haunt the future. It will come to haunt your seed in the future. Right now, some of the battles we are fighting, they are because our forefathers back there, they carried with them some accursed things, some accursed personalities. So tonight, 
Tonight we are praying and we are sending fire to every seed of Lord that is rising against us. Every seed of Lord that is rising against my life. Every seed of Lord that is rising against my destiny. Every seed of Lord that is rising against my marriage. Fire. Today is a night of rain of fire. It's a night of rain of fire. We are sending arrows of fire. We are sending rain of fire to every seed of Lord. Every Ammonite and every Moabite attacking me. Every Ammonite and every Moabite rising to fight against me. Fire. Fire to them. Now I want you to say every problem, every problem in my life, every problem in my life, that is a result of ancestral mistakes. That is a result of ancestral mistakes. Expire in the name of Jesus. Expire in the name of Jesus. Every problem in my life, every problem in my life, that is a result of ancestral mistakes, expire in the name of Jesus. We want to bring every problem in our lives that is a result of ancestral sins. We are bringing it to expiration. We are bringing it to expiration. I want you to fire this prayer point with anger. I want you to fire this prayer point with holy anger. Problem yes, and Rukusangana Nayo in my life as a result of ancestral mistakes expire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every problem, every problem that I'm facing right now, that is a result of any ancestral mistake. I command you to expire. I command you to expire. I command you to expire. If my ultimate marriage, if my not being married is a result of any ancestral sin, I command you to expire. I command you to expire. I command you to expire. If my poverty is a result of any ancestral mistake, I command you to expire. I command you to, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. You know the problems that you are facing. I want you to mention them one by one and I want you to command all those problems to expire. I want you to command all those problems to expire. Expire. I want you to command all those problems to expire. Every problem in my life right now, that is a result of any ancestral mistake. That is a result of any ancestral error. I command you to expire right now. 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 Every battle that I'm fighting right now, which is a result of any ancestral mistake, which is a result of any ancestral error, I command that battle to expire. I command that battle to expire. I command that battle to expire. Any disease that I'm suffering from right now, that is a result of any ancestral mistake, that is a result of any ancestral error, I command you right now, I command you right now to come out of my body, I command you to manifest and lose your hold over my life, I command you to lose your hold, I command you to lose your hold, I command you to lose your hold over my body, I command you to lose your hold, catch fire, catch fire, you be people. If you are a result of any ancestral error, I command you to come out of my body right now. You diabetes, if you are a result of any ancestral error, I command you to come out of my body. I command you to come out of my body. You HIV, if you are a result of any ancestral mistake, if you are a result of any ancestral error, I command you to come out of my body. I command you to come out of my body. I want you to mention all the problems that you have. And I want you to command them to expire. If they are a result of any ancestral sin, if you are not being married is a result of any ancestral error, I command that problem right now to expire. I command you to expire. I command you to expire. Let your marital doors be opened. Let your marital gates be opened. In the
the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, expire by fire, expire by fire, expire by fire, expire by fire, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every problem that I'm facing right now, which is a result of any ancestral error, which is a result of any ancestral mistake, I command you to expire. I command you to expire. I command you to expire. I command you to expire by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. By fire in the mighty name of Jesus. By fire in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to keep on praying. 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 Command that problem to expire. 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 Now I want you to say, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and answer us by fire this night. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and answer us by fire this, this, this morning. Consume every Moabite and every Ammonite rising against us. Consume every Moabite and every Ammonite rising against us. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Where is the Lord God of Elijah? The Lord who answers by by fire. Arise and answer us by fire this night. Consume every Moabite and every Ammonite in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every seed of Lord be consumed. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God of Elijah, you are the God who answers us by fire. Let every seed of Lord be consumed. Let every seed of Ammon be consumed. Let every Moabite be consumed. Let every Ammonite be consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Consuming fire, consuming fire, consuming fire. Brimstone and fire, brimstone and fire, brimstone and fire, brimstone and fire, brimstone and fire. Every more bite and every ammonite rising against me. Every more bite and every ammonite rising against my destiny. Every more bite and every ammonite rising against my career. Every more bite and every ammonite rising against my business. Every more bite and every ammonite rising against my children. Be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fire prayer. Push in prayer. Push in prayer. Push in prayer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Push in prayer, push in prayer, push in prayer, travel in prayer, travel in prayer, travel in prayer. Lord God of Elijah, go before me like a consuming fire. Go before me like a differing fire. Consume, consume every Ammonite. Consume every Moabite along my way. Consume every Ammonite. Consume every Moabite. Arise, God of Elijah. Arise, God of Elijah. Arise, God of Elijah. Destroy every altar. Destroy every altar of the Moabites. Destroy every altar of the Ammonites. Destroy it by fire. Destroy it by fire. Destroy it by fire. Destroy it by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy it, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Chemosh was the god of the Moabites. Chemosh was the god of the Moabites. And Milcom was the god of the Ammonites. Chemosh was the god of the Moabites. And Milcom was the god of the Ammonites. Chemosh was the god of the Moabites and Milcom was the god of the Ammonites. Now I want you to say, every altar, every altar 
every altar of Chemosh and every altar of Milcom in my life. Every altar of Chemosh and every altar of Milcom that has been raised against my destiny. I command you to catch fire. I command you to catch fire. I command you to catch fire. Every altar of Chemosh and every altar of Milcom in my life. Catch fire. Be scattered by fire. Be scattered by fire. Be scattered by fire. Be scattered by fire. Every idol that any Moabite is worshipping. Every, oh, every idol that any Ammonite is worshipping. I command your altars to catch fire. 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 Every altar, every idol altar that has been raised by any Moabite and any Ammonite against me. I command you to scatter right now. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. You altar of Chemosh and you altar of Milcon. I command you to scatter right now. I command you to scatter right now. I command you to scatter right now. My altars and Rukutaura. Doma altars are not decatel for me. Zimukumusha Quenu. Doma altars are not Iwa Bucha Kumusha Quenu. Doma altars are not Urua Dorore Mukakumusha Quenu. I want you to command all those altars to scatter. I want you to command all those altars to scatter. They are altars to idols and they are not altars to God. Every altar that is not of God in my family, every altar that is not of God speaking against my life, I command you to scatter. 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 Pavana no fuga, mama chikanda fojka passing. I command that altar to scatter. I command that altar to break right now. Pavana no fuga, mama chideke terane mazita e I command that altar to scatter. I command that altar to Break. I command that altar to be rent into pieces right now in the name of Jesus. Pesepano fugan wane ma shikiro. Pesepano fugan wane ma no shiti ma no shikiro. I command all those altars. I command all those altars. Break and scatter. Break and scatter. Break and scatter. Break and scatter. And everything that they use on those altars, I command it to catch fire right now. 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 I nullify all all the sacrifices that have been made on all these altars, I nullify their sacrifices. I nullify their sacrifices by a better sacrifice, the highest sacrifice of my life, the blood of Jesus. I silence their sacrifices. I silence their sacrifices. I silence the, the blood of cattle. I silence the blood of goats. I silence the blood of chickens. I silence it right now. I I silence it right now. I silence it right now. I silence it right now. You altar and all your sacrifices. I nullify you by the blood of Jesus. I nullify you by the blood of Jesus. I nullify you by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus begin to speak. 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 Nullify their sacrifices. Nullify the sacrifices that they made. That we are not going to get married. Nullify the sacrifices that they made. That we are not going to make it in life. I silence and nullify those sacrifices. I silence and nullify those sacrifices. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, your altar and all your sacrifices be scattered. Catch fire right now. 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 Every priest ministering on any altar of Chemosh, every priest ministering on any altar of Milcon, I command you right now. I command you right now. Be blasted by fire. Be blasted by fire. Be blasted by fire. Wesa no no mirapa altar. Wesa no no mirapa altar ye bizimu. Wesa no no mirapa altar ye nganga. Wesa no no mirapa altar ye mashavi. Achitaura zitarangu. Be blasted by fire. 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 Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Your time is up. Your time is up. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. In the name of
of Jesus. We say no no mira pa o ta chi de ketera ne zitarangu. We say no kanda fujka pa sa chi de ketera ne zitarangu. We say no durura ropa ne muka pa si a chi de ketera ne zitarangu. I command you right now, be blasted by fire, be blasted by fire, be blasted by fire, be blasted by fire. Your time is up. Be blasted, be blasted, be blasted, be blasted, be blasted. In the name of Jesus, every atalia of my family, every Italian of my family, every Abimelech of my family, everyone who stands on an evil altar to make incantations against me, to make declarations against me, to make verdicts against me, be blasted by fire, be blasted by fire, be blasted by fire, consuming fire, arrows of fire, stones of fire, stones of fire, stones of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, 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 every evil hand, every evil finger that is pointing at me for evil, every evil hand, every evil finger that is pointing at me for evil, I command you to wither by fire right now, wither by fire. With the by fire, with the by fire, with the by fire, with the by fire. Your evil hand pointing at me for evil. Your evil hand pointing at me for evil. Your evil finger pointing at me for evil. With the by fire, be squashed by fire right now. With the by fire, with the by fire, with the by fire, with the by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, every coven of the Moabites and the Ammonites against my life, every coven of the Moabites and the Ammonites against my life, thunder fire of God strike, 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 thunder fire, thunder fire any coven any coven of the Moabites any coven of the Moabites thunder let thunder strike you right now let thunder strike you right now let thunder strike you right now let thunder fire of God strike you in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus by fire by fire by fire by fire I want you to say I change my identity I change my identity to fire I change my identity to fire Holy Spirit change my identity Holy Spirit change my identity Holy Spirit change my identity to fire take me in the spiritual realm take me to their covens take me to their altars take me to their covens Take me to their altars. Destroy them by fire. 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 Break every covenant that they made against me. Break every covenant they made against me. Break every covenant they made against me. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I come out of their prison. I come out of their prison. I come out of their prison. My God is going before me. My God is going before me. He's cutting baskets into pieces and he's breaking iron bars. He's making a way for me. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I declare and I decree. I'm no longer your captive. I'm no longer your slave. I am free in Jesus' name. I am free by the blood of Jesus. I am free in Jesus' name. I am free by the blood of Jesus. In the the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I want you to lay your head, your head on your hand on your forehead I want you to lay your hand on your forehead and I want you to call your name three times I want you to call your name three times and say come out of that coven 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 come out 
out of that coven. Repeat, come out of that coven for seven times. Repeat it seven times. Walk about your forehead. I want you to call your name three times and say, come out of that coven seven times. I want you to do that right now. I want you to do that right now. I want you to do that right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are no longer a covenant prisoner. You are no longer a covenant prisoner. You are no longer a covenant slave. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. Jump out right now. Jump out of any covenant. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. By fire you are coming out. By fire you are coming out. By fire you are coming out by fire you are coming out by fire you are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus we pray hallelujah hallelujah in Jesus mighty name we pray thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus if anything happened during this prayer session if anything happened during this prayer session, please just type what happened as we are about to close. Just type what happened as we are about to close. Just type what happened as we are about to close. If anything happened during this prayer session, just type what happened as we are about to close. Just type what happened as we are about to close the session. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So you just continue to pray against the Moabites and the Ammonites. You just continue to pray against the Moabites and the Ammonites. Just continue to pray. Just continue to pray. Just continue to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If anything happened during this session, please just type what happened before we close. Just type what happened before we close. Just type what happened before we close. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lufun, Lufuno, Molea. I command that arrow to jump out of your abdomen right now. Jump out of your stomach right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the deliverance. Thank you, Jesus, for the deliverance. Thank you, Jesus, for the deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, people of God, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Cynthia Chitate, we thank God for that deliverance. We thank God for that deliverance. We thank God for that deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for the deliverance. We thank God for the deliverance. Thank you, good people. Thank you, good people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, let's meet again tomorrow. Um, I would like to apologize to the Ruthies. We are not going to have a separate prayer tonight. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry about that. Let's meet tomorrow. Let's meet tomorrow. I love you all, but God loves you more. I love you all, but God loves you more. Just my just a question, just a question before we close. Um, would we love some teachings during the day? Would we love some teachings during the day? Because that's why she's on way taka one pa midnight cry. Would we love some teachings during the day?
and if so, uh, which day is um, most appropriate for majority of us? If so, which day is most appropriate? Sharon Emma in Jikaramba. Call me tomorrow. Call me tomorrow at around 12, uh, 12 noon, midday. If you would love some teachings during the day, which day is most appropriate for you in time? Which day and time is most appropriate for you? Which day and time is most appropriate for you, guys? Deborah Debs, night is cheaper for us. A lot of people are saying yes, but I, I, I need to know the day. I need to know the day and time. I need to know the day and time that is most appropriate for for majority of us. Petronella Mshava, you said Sunday. Um, it's okay. I, I, I can do that after, after my Sunday service. I can do that after my Sunday service. Is Sunday okay with all of you? Is Sunday okay with all of you? Is Sunday okay with all of you? Tabita Machinga is there. You are for Sunday. Since Chipuma, you said Thursday and Saturday. Nana's Thursday for Ruth. Judith Mutere, Friday. Oh, Nelia, Sunday. Yo, my days are on Wednesday, Sunday, Sunday. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I love you people. I love you, but God loves you more. I love you, but God loves you more. Chingwara ngarirao, data rukudura, and sometimes it's nge ndi sina. Because ndika it's a live like I have done right now. I'm supposed to download these live streams, convert them to audios, and send to our 86 WhatsApp groups. I'm supposed also to post the video on our YouTube channel. So it's costing me a lot of data. Sometimes I run out of data. Even like today in Dangandi Storina, and we're not going to have this midnight cry. So please, Tingora Angari Raokuti, Tinenge Chida data for these live streams. Um, I think you won't post it, the number, the number that I use, the number that needs to be used up with data. Thank you very much. I love you all. God bless you.